It's been seven years. I finally decided I want to love life again. You ever stumble upon a piece of art and it's something you just absolutely needed to see or hear? A moment of pure serendipity and you feel that your life, as aimless as it seemed, is on the right path. A gift, if you will, from divinity, providence, or maybe you just got lucky and our pattern-seeking abilities cope hard for answers and the algorithm just happened to get it right. Either way, the result is clarity, like a new chapter of your life can finally begin. For me, I was experiencing existential depression and was really feeling it, but after lots of reflection and conversations, I righted my path, and to cap off wanting to live a healthy life again, I ended up stumbling on Mirrored Mind, Kyoshin, a film that left me in such a state that I knew that I am indeed ready to move on. There will be no spoilers in this review other than visuals and some segments of scenes that will be out of context. I will dive a little bit more at the very end and I will warn you. However, if you are someone currently in a similar existential dilemma, if you feel that everything is a lie, that life is just fake and that you don't even feel alive, and need a piece of art that will be transformative in experience and hopefully resonate with you too then I do suggest seeing this film blindly. The link is in the description. Mirrored Mind is a 2005 Japanese independent film adapted from the original short film as directed by Kakuyo Ishii, formerly known as Shogo Ishii, a director prominent in sparking the cyberpunk movement in Japan with dystopian biker gang films like Crazy Thunder Road or Burst City. But Ishii has spread his filmography to psychological films like Angel Dust and metaphysical meditations like August in the Water where you can see the more introspective philosophical style within the coming of age film. Also making insane experimental punk rock films like Electric Dragon 80 Volts starring Tadanobu Asano, who he formed a band with for a short period of time. There's so much in this man's career that was rarely distributed to the West and I only just heard of him now, but knowing he made hyperphonetic films, then made a film like Mirrored Mind is remarkable to me. Of course, a brief look back in some of his shots and even his biker gang movies and you can see this was always a potential direction he was headed toward. In my opinion, Mirrored Mind is a 61 minute masterpiece. It's an ambient film that utilizes its atmosphere and Miwako Ishikawa's performance to full perfection. Despite its seemingly experimental nature, the film is very much understood. The plot is very simple. The credits will roll and you will understand exactly what happened. The way it's delivered and told is highly impressionable and it's what makes it so transformative. Despite such, to explain the plot in detail would ruin the experience. So to put it simply, an actress is faced with depression and sets off into nature to understand herself. Shot with a tiny crew of five on digital cameras, the film is beautiful and in my opinion, perfect. Miwako Ichikawa's performance is modest, subtle, and ubiquitous. I related to it on a base level, deep inside, spiritually and emotionally. To the point where I felt divine finding this movie because it helped me that much. The photography alone, the way the shots match, the way the film plays with reality, the way it plays with time, it's all motivated and every frame is needed to evoke the emotion of the themes. The performance though is one that I just love. I'm the type where you could just place an actor in a static shot and just have them break down and I'm all in. But it was more, it was relatable, but subtle 
several times, you can see Morocco right on the verge of completely breaking down, but holding it back just enough to keep it all together. It's a fine line, a subtle acting that resonates so deeply with its honesty. Starting with this beautiful conversation that I instantly gravitated towards with this image here. And it was a dialogue I've had with myself many times over. Miwako Ichikawa is given so much to work with despite how little plot there seems to be within the film, including this moment here. Mirrored Mine is a film that stumbled upon my life at the absolute right time I needed to see it. And because of such, I will forever cherish this film. Because of its impact to me, I find this film to be perfection. And its transformative nature touched me so that it does indeed feel like I could move on to my next chapter. I am ready to love life again. It's been seven years. That's long enough. Mirrored Mind teaches us how to heal. I will now explain further why. Slight spoilers ahead. One, two, three. Okay, the film takes the simple concept of a woman depressed and has her suicide attempt be a catalyst to tell a philosophical meditation on why life is worth living and strong, powerful advice on how to navigate it. I myself dealt with years of depression, survived my own turmoil and the struggles that I will keep to myself. It got very dark and very painful and there's a reason I relate to this movie so much. I thought I just needed an escape from my life to start all over again somewhere else, but the girl she meets on the beach has the wisdom. Life is reflective of your mind. Not in a new age solipsistic you create your own reality way, but in your perspective, the way you look at the world, your mental attitude, the world reflects it back to us because we are indeed patterns seeking hominids, harken back to being able to see snakes and bushes. It's our great skill and curse because when depressed, you see the world differently than the one who is on the path to getting better. Patterns betray you and make everything seem like it's all against you. This is reflected in two mirrored shots from the beginning and end. She is just one of many in the city. A nameless citizen who, right from the beginning, is already lost. But in the end, she learns to tune out the noise and relax. Just relax. Because it doesn't matter where you live. It's a matter of perception. Only you can bring yourself happiness. Nothing else. But you're also not alone. Because even then, whether by accident or not, your control over how you react to life can influence others subconsciously. 
Mirrored mind. Mirrored mind. Life is a mirror. How do you look? Thank mm -hmm. you.